All right, what's up, guys? It's Dotcom. Welcome to a quick video. Today, we're going to show you guys how to automatically back up your PC SX2 memory cards. This is going to use Task Scheduler on Windows 10 and some command prompt batch files. So it sounds like a lot. Uh, it's real simple. It should only take us a few minutes, and we'll walk you through step by step on what to do here. Okay, first thing, we need to locate our PC SX2 file library so this is wherever you saved and installed the program for me it's in our documents folder pcxs2 you'll see your memory card folder languages all that good stuff and i've already got a couple of these uh, files created so you can ignore that on your end but we just want to make sure our memory cards are here so just make sure you got that location and i like to create the files within this documents here within this file uh file path so Let's go ahead and open up Notepad. And I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see okay. All right, so I've got this in the clipboard. I'm gonna copy and paste it right here. So if you want, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this file available for download, just like a Google Drive link. Um, so you guys don't have to type in this word for word, letter for letter. But if you do, just make sure this is all accurate. One wrong letter can screw up everything. Uh, make sure it's all accurate until you get to this line right here, set source folder. That's going to be different on your end and set destination folder. That's going to be different as well. Um, so what the set source folder is, is that's critical. We need to make sure this is where our memory cards folder is located. So that is right here. Uh, and if we just highlight this, right click and copy, we can paste it right after the equal sign and then you're good. That's where your memory cards are. So that's all good. Now we need to set the destination folder. Um, I actually have this on a new storage drive. I'm going to change that and put it here to this new folder that I just recently created, memory card backup. Um, so let's actually erase all of these. Uh, those are the backups I already did to test to make sure this works. <laughs> so make sure whatever you set this to, and like I said, we'll run this one through this one together. We can write, uh, highlight, copy, and then paste, you can just hit control V and paste right here. And that's where all your backed up memory cards are gonna go. And make sure this is an active folder. If I, I may create the folder for you, if not, uh, it's not gonna work. So just make sure you do have an active folder with whatever you name that. It doesn't have to be the word for word, same as mine, but that should be good. And you're good with this one. Now we need to go to file, save as. We're gonna put this, like I said, in that same documents pc sx2 library and we need to change this to all files and we're gonna do let's see we're gonna name this one memory card i already have one called memory card backup let's make this memory card backup two and we want to make sure this is a dot bat that is for a batch file so make sure it's got the dot bat uh, extension and save as all save as type all files so there you go let's save that done with that one Okay, this one's done. We'll minimize that and we can just right click, open up a new notepad here and I'll zoom up again so you guys can see. We'll rock through this one together. Uh, this one is a little more simple. It's just one line. It's going to be start backslash min cmd dot exe. What that is doing is opening up the command prompt but minimizing the window so it doesn't actually flash and pop up on your screen in the middle of a, while you're playing a game or something. And then what we need to do is we need to specify that batch file that we just created right here. So we're going to do backslash C and the file name, which is memory card backup 2.bat. That's what we named it as. Whatever you named it as, that's what you want to put here. Just put the backslash C and the file name. So let's do the same thing. We'll save as all files in the same library here and this is going to be i've got this one as run mem card backup two you can name it whatever you want and we'll save that there so that's all done command props batch pile batch files those are all good now we need to open up the task scheduler okay let's go here to our search box and open up task scheduler um, we can ignore everything that's already in here just right click anywhere along the, the white space just right click go to create new task uh, we can name this pc access to um you know, pc sx2 i always get that backwards pc sx2 backup you can name it whatever you want it doesn't matter 
And then I always select this option here, run whether user is logged on or not, just in case you have multiple people on the computer, you have multiple users, doesn't matter if you're the one that's logged on. So let's skip the triggers for now. Let's go to actions first. We'll go to new, start a program. Uh, this is the, the second batch file that we created and it's gonna bring up, and it's gonna op open up here because I already had one created before. Uh, but just make sure you get to your documents, whatever your, wherever your PCX, PCSX2 library is and select that second batch file, the one we created called run memory card backup two. And then now we also need to fill this in. For some reason, it doesn't work unless you put the start in optional uh, text box. And what we want to do, just grab your cursor and select everything before that forward slash there. And we're going to copy everything from here. Whatever it is on your end, it's not going to be the same as mine. But just make sure it's before the final forward slash. And control C to copy click here control B what that is doing is just telling it to start in this file path right here uh, and that's where our run them card backup two is located so we're okay we're good on that now we can come over to triggers and this is where you can get real creative we're gonna go to new and I'm gonna do daily just because it doesn't hurt to back up everything daily even if you don't play every day it's still just gonna overwrite and we're gonna, it's, I know it's 9.04 right now. We're actually gonna set this to 9 p.m. even and recur every day. Um, and I, I recommend doing this on a time that you're most likely um, on the computer. Um, and may, maybe even later in the day would be good. Uh, like if you usually wrap up and go to bed at you know 10 o'clock, maybe set this for 10 o'clock. Uh, so that way it doesn't overwrite before you're done playing or before you complete your final save, if that makes sense. So we're gonna ignore everything else. Uh, we'll hit okay there, daily, starting every day at 9 p.m. Perfect, Let's, we don't have to do anything for conditions here, um, not gonna worry about that. We're gonna go to settings. Sorry, my dog is chewing on a bone in the background, by the way, I'm sorry if that's loud. Um, we're gonna check these two options here, run task as soon as possible, and if the task fails, we're just gonna go ahead and restart. Like I'm just gonna do every hour, three times. So if the computer's asleep, uh, are turned off you restart the computer comes back on it's going to run that scheduled uh, start that it missed or if it fails for some reason let's just have it try again for three times so we'll hit okay there uh just going to type in your admin password or user account password there okay perfect so that is ready to go okay so we've got the mem cards folder here with all of our active memory cards and we got the mem card backup that's this task is not yet run so there's nothing in here yet but we can go ahead and force it right click run and just to demonstrate there you go those are all of the memory cards now backed up and saved to a new storage location so for visually we can go even farther here let's actually right click in so it's not running anymore just to make sure it doesn't back it up again We'll boot into the PC Access 2 BIOS. Love that sound, man. This is classic PS2 sound. So I do, feel free, this is just for visual demonstration. Um, feel free to skip through the rest of this. But we've got uh, a couple of memory cards here. This is looks like some NCA Football 07, if you guys watch some of my YouTube videos and all that good stuff and Twitch streams. Let's delete this profile here. Let's delete that profile. Let's delete this Dynasty. Uh, it's been a little while since I played on it. Let's delete that. And that was, let's see, what memory card is this? Let's delete one thing here just so I know which one. Um, we got a draft class. Let's delete that. It is, okay, NCAA football. Okay, we got that one. So let, let's close out of this. Let's close out of this. So we got a memory card here. We deleted some stuff from that memory card and that memory card. Let's just completely remove this one. Let's say we accidentally did something. It's corrupted, whatever. Let's remove it. Uh, it was working yesterday. It was working but from our last backup. So what we can do here, uh, let's shut this down and exit. And then let's come over here. So we remember FCS, we erased some stuff on that accidentally. So let's copy this back over FCS. We'll just move, replace, there you go. And then this one we actually deleted. So let's move, that's in there now. And then let's open up PC XS2 again boot the BIOS and if you remember we deleted some stuff off that FCS memory card and for an example let's load it up 
and we're back here and there it is that's the profile we deleted there's the dynasty we deleted we completely wiped out this memory card but it's back nothing else doesn't need to be can format it again or anything it's all there so again that is a simple tutorial on how to back up pcxs2 memory cards and like and now you can come here you can create another one of these if you want so what we can do we could copy this do the exact same thing but maybe edit the trigger and go weekly we can go once a week we can go once a month so if you really want to go back in time you can set up another one and just save it to a different folder location you can create mem card backup daily mem card backup weekly monthly and all you gotta do is just create another task another task scheduler so that that's how it's done uh hopefully this wasn't too long of a video and if you guys are still here please feel free to let me know if you want to see more content like this so Hopefully this makes sense. Maybe save somebody. It saved me once before, <laughs> at least once. Um, and everybody have a great day. We'll see you next time. Peace.